As a priest, there are two things I get envious about. I'm not very sure whether we have something called positive envy. Is there something like that? But I'm envious of two things. Every time I visit someone who is above 90, 90, my heart is so absorbed in admiration of how this person has been blessed. 90, you know. I'm still 40. 90 is above, you know. <laughs> I'm not even half of that. 90. Oh God. I just look at them and my, my heart starts, you know. I look at them and I ask myself, this person has really been blessed. I don't know whether I'll reach 70. I'm not very sure. Leave alone 90. This man was 92. The second envy I get, when I anoint someone and the person assures me of his preparation for the next life, my heart sink with love. I visited this man. He was in his bed. And when, when, when Freddie called me, I thought that he is not able to speak because he told me this person is, is in his last days. And when I went there, the man was listening to us. I anointed him and we said the prayers and he was the one leading the prayers. And I was like, is this the man I'm coming to give last right? How prepared he was. You know, and then two days after, Freddy tells me that he is gone. To me, I don't cry because he has gone. I cry because he has been blessed by the Lord to see even his last days, to prepare himself for life eternal. How many of us, you and me, will get this chance? I am a priest, but I don't know. This is every day, every morning I wake up, I ask myself, God, I'm serving you in your altar. Will you give me this grace on my last days that I'm able to prepare myself so that I can meet you when I'm ready? The word of God says, the souls of the just are in the eyes of God and they will not experience any suffering. Two questions I ask. Who are the just? The Bible says the souls of the just. Who are the just? Does it mean there will be suffering in after this life? Nani believers will have a problem with these two questions about the just and the question of suffering. These are the things they don't want to hear, the nani believers. One, they do not believe in afterlife, live alone suffering. This reading presents the three concepts of life, that is heaven, hell, and purgatory. The just who have lived their life in acknowledging the greatness of God and the respect and love of neighbor will be welcomed into heaven. But the word of God also talks about others will be chastised a little and this is the concept that the church keeps saying, there is purgatory. You know, there is somewhere, some will be chastised a little so that they can see heaven. This is purgatory. And therefore, 
they will be blessed with heaven after being chastised a little. But those who lived recklessly, full of themselves, will be punished. These are the people we pray that may shine. Even as a priest, we are not afraid of offering services on their behalf. I'm not afraid of praying for these men. Yes, we give thanks to God for he has hidden these things to the wise and the learned, but he revealed them to the childlike. Look at the people who have denied the existence of God. Unless they humble themselves, these things will never be known to them. Unless they humble, unless you humble yourself, you will never know the mysteries of God. Am I speaking so loudly? You like it like that. By baptism, St. Paul to Romans says, we are buried in Christ. And since Christ was raised, we pray that Joseph will too be raised to eternity. 